of them there. Oop, let's go that way. First chance to have a, a little look around. Have a quick look around, shall we? Uh, you've got your combi oven and three gas burner hob. Got the little sink drainer thing. I always like this with the, yeah. the washing up bowl and the drain. With the washing up bowl. Nice tap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Couple of plugs. Couple of plugs. These all, all seem to be empty. Yeah, um, um, we noticed no. when we had the autograph, it came with cutlery. This doesn't come with cutlery. No, it doesn't so come with anything. So we will be using our own cutlery because that cutlery drawer is empty. Zilch in there. Zilch in there. Also notice that the grill pan's never been used. No. That's anything in here. So it's a big, that's a, that's a big cupboard there. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, then we can good. probably put Poppy in there as well. <laughs> I mean, Poppy's <laughs> <stuff>. Poppy. <laughs> Not Poppy herself, no. Another big cupboard there. Wow. No, so plenty of kitchen space. Yeah, so everything to do with eating, go up this end. Yeah, uh, all your controls are here, trimmer up there, gas, and that. We'll go into these more details of Russell Hobbs microwave. And. Uh, yeah, so a couple of things I noticed when they handed it over. One thing I noticed, and it drives me nuts this, I don't know why they can't sort this, is this is a whale connector. This motorhome doesn't have a whale connector, so we've got to use our own hose. This has happened with <laughs> all of them, hasn't it? But it was all no, right well, with the, the autograph. No, well, the autograph's got yeah. a whale connector, but yeah. the Alliance and the Advance don't use whale connectors for the water. No, no so we'd, we'd have fun and games trying to use that, wouldn't so we? So you get to the first filling up point, and then you think, what on earth do I do with this? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so we'll take our, our hose. So we'll take our hose with us. And we'll probably take our hose with us uh, to replace that because I hate those things that all loosely coiled up like that. It takes mm. you forever to coil them up. So we'll be taking our own uh, power. Ho hose. Hose and power lead. Hose and power. Do you want to have a quick look in the bathroom? So yeah, it's quite a nice bathroom. It's a bit like the the um, autographs bathroom, in, in, except that it hasn't got that awful sliding door thing. No, it's, I think it's very similar. Yeah. Know, space and yeah. design. I, I noticed uh, we watched it at, um, Wandering Birds video on this last night, just for reference. And I noticed she commented on this catch not being big enough. Well, they've actually put an extension piece on it. She'll be glad to know. Good. So you can actually close and lock that shower in place. So thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, and it's a good size shower. And you've got good locker space there. Toilet, obviously. Loo roll down there. Another little cupboard down there. Yeah, I like it. They haven't provided any loo roll, have they? No. <laughs> so we'll, have, we'll have to go uh, shopping, I think, with it. Yeah, we will take it shopping. Yeah. yeah. We've got a fridge, a smallish fridge compared to what we're used to, but it's okay. We'll have to get that going, won't we? Yeah. Get the gas on. Get that switched on. Yeah, so I think we're ready to start packing, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. When the washing finishes, we're, we're ready to pack clothes. Well, yeah. We can do the rest. We can do we? the rest, yeah. Yeah. Right, we've got everything in. I think. Should you want to have a look around the cupboard to see what we got in what cupboard? So we've got most important Tassimo in there and some of your clothes. We've got more of your clothes and the bits box. Which you've got right. the Gorilla Glue in there and Gorilla Tape and you never know. Uh, I've got my camera, some, some of my camera bits, uh, towels and shopping bags. Yep. That's more of my bits box and my clothes. So that's really your cupboard isn't it? So that'll be my cupboard. Up the top there I've got um, oh, various leads and chargers and things, and things tied right? up. Up there is where we keep me my man bag. Let's put, do this one handed. Oh. Right, and under there we've got two duvelets, two pillows and a what's it called camping chair, o uh, Oz10 camping chair. And that's about it for the for in there. This is quite a useful little cupboard here. So I've got my laptop and stuff in there. Laptop and 
dashboard camera stuff. I think I think I think this van's sort of filled up with my camera stuff and Poppy's stuff. I think you've, I you, you, you've got a couple of no. socks, haven't you? <laughs> oh, is that all? <laughs> this shelf is an absolute waste of time. Every time you put something on it, it falls out. It needs a door on it. Yeah, yeah. More bits and bobs in there. The uh, uh, documentation, a few towels. Poppy. Poppy. Yeah, Poppy's cupboard. Food. Bits of food, crisp tins and stuff. And we've got plates and mugs and dishes in there. I'll put them in a in a mug. Actually, that's gonna move about. It really needs a plate rack in there. Yeah, you need a plate rack in there. Um, no cutlery was provided, so we've provided our own sort of cutlery shelf, which fits quite well and just sort of odds and sods in there. It's not a, I wouldn't say that's a particularly big deep cutlery drawer because it only goes down to there doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But this is a super cupboard, absolutely super, Huge. top ho! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got pots and pans in there but you could stick loads of stuff in there. I might put sort of um, stuff in there. Yeah, I might put what's in here in there, because in there I've got my um, portable hoover thing and the uh, the water hose, electric cable, stuff to pin the awning up with. Put that back in there. Huh. Right, wardrobe. The wardrobe is rammed. It's not a huge wardrobe. It's not it? a huge wardrobe. It's also got this blooming. Come get it. Can you help me here? Yeah. Right at the back of the wardrobe, there's an infill cushion, so that the coats are not really going in there all that brilliant. That's obviously not bad. We've got two coats and uh, two jumpers each, two trousers. Yeah, I suppose it's all gone in. It's it? gone in. It's a bit wasted space. Well, isn't it's not. It? It's a gas locker. Oh, right. It's not wasted space. <laughs> bathroom. So in the bathroom cupboards, uh, I'll... it's like a donkey, that one. Uh, we've got our um. Oh come on, what are they called? Wash, wash bags. Ba wash bags. Thank you. Got a big mirror. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah, that's a pretty good cupboard for Nick bits and bobs and things. Oh, I know what I do need to get. I need, need to get my blue stuff out because that little blue thing they're giving us is going to last about three days. Um, I've got my um, uh, tailor-made windscreen cover in there. So that will probably stay in there. Just notice there's a couple of hooks in there, so I could put the coats in here, in there, or the towels. They'll be for towels, won't they? Yeah, I think so. Right, that's about it. I just must remember to go and get my blue and uh, chemical stuff before I go. Anything yeah. you want to say? No, no, I'm looking forward to going to the first yeah. site and, yeah. and the first night so yeah. we get on with the bed. <laughs> I've had a little drive of it, I, know, I might put some footage of it, but I went down to the council tip just to get rid of the the rubbish because we won't be here for three weeks. No. no. And uh, it, it goes like a little rocket ship this thing. It mm. <laughs> really puts a smile on your face. It's it's when you've driven a big four ton motorhome and you get into one of these it's like a little go-kart. Yeah I thought it would be. It's a one point pistol 160, 160 horsepower. Yeah 160 it? PS isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And a lightweight van. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing with problem I've got is there's a warning light on here that says tyre pressure monitoring system unavailable. I'll have to have a word about that. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Right, we're heading 
to Southport Caravan and Motorhome Club site just really to sort of well check everything works really I think yeah and get, get used, used to, to the it van. and we're meeting up with Posh Cats camping tomorrow yeah flower festival or something going on there and we need to take it to get it stocked up on vital things don't we so we yeah. need to sort of check today there's what, plenty what of fuel need. they left us plenty of fuel yeah it's almost full isn't it yeah this is a little uh, floral display along rotten row this is called it's all looked after by volunteers if you like that sort of thing <laughs> it's very pretty yeah they're huge Morrisons there, aren't they? Yeah. If we needed any fuel, we could have got it over there. No, I think I've got a range of about 400 and something miles. We can't fit any in, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Victoria Park, just on the left. Come in a slightly different way. Yeah, I thought you had. Yeah, normally come in on the coast road, which is, I think, is the way they, they tell you to come. I thought it'd be different. Yeah. We've yeah. done arriving at Southport before. We're arriving from a different direction. A different direction, yeah. You know you're closed because there's a sign for it. Yeah. This is the Esplanade. rattle just above my head it's it was blind again you know these side blinds we need that water the... glass man yeah I think that's what it is the trees are a bit overgrown here what are we doing for time 1201 how's 1201. that 1201 that's how's that perfect, for time isn't it sometimes there's a queue though isn't there back on here yeah it is a very popular site, Southport. But there's no one here. No. It's Monday, I suppose, makes a difference. Is it Monday? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, sure it's it Monday. Is. No. <laughs> I haven't got my clock with me, have I? No. No, no you're going to be completely lost. The turning circle of this is unbelievable, really, compared to ours. <laughs> I'm sort of looking to see if the back ends come around, and <laughs> that was a couple of hours ago. <laughs> right, let's go get booked in. Oh, sorry, I did the handbrake you wrong. Do there, it, didn't I? You do it properly. I do that properly. Here we go. Handbrake is on. Still made a bit of a noise. Well, you can't it? help that. <laughs> looking for a blue aren't we yeah it's a bl we booked a non-awning pitch so because we haven't got an awning with us and uh, you've just asked again haven't you if we can put our canopy out on a blue pitch yeah you can what you can't do is you can't put a, an awning up that's got sides on it like that one over there on the right no no so all the non-awning pitches are all on this side on the older side of the the site, yeah, because they're a little bit narrower, and they have to keep the space between the pitches to a, six, a minimum of six meters. Yeah, that's why you can't put an awning down. It's a white one. There's a chair on this pitch here. That's one way of reserving your pitch, isn't it? Yeah, it's because he left his shoes on there as well. I suppose you could just leave your flip flops, couldn't you? might blow away. <laughs> no, 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 lucky the whole thing would blow over, wouldn't it? Yeah. You'd never find your shoes again. That's right, your deck chair would be halfway down the site, there'd be someone else in your pitch <laughs> wearing your flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple down here. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit quieter down here, isn't it? Yeah, you're not too far from the water. But no. What about this this one here? This one? 21? Yeah, 21, yeah. Okay. See how much easier this is to, to pitch up. 
does seem weird not having that great big uh, bit at the back. You've got, I've been driving this a little bit around, and but you've got, it does feel like a little go-kart, I think I've said it before. <laughs> How far back do I go here? Still going back. Yeah. Because your trouble is you haven't got a reversing camera, so you no, so I can't really see. I'm probably about 20 feet away from yeah, the post. Like, like we normally park, you know. Yeah. Right, just on the pitch. Yeah. Do you want a picture by the side? Sorry? Do you want a picture by the side? Yeah, I could do. Okay. Put your phone I haven't got a phone, I'll have to be on the camera. I normally take a picture on my phone, and I didn't bring my phone. Got distracted by that other Westie, didn't they, Pops? My poppy got distracted. Yeah. You can stand by the colour sign, can you? <laughs> no, copy. Copy, concentrate. Well, it's lovely and sunny today. I haven't really noticed because we've been packing the uh, little motorhome up. I've just noticed that I've been really hot. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Perhaps go for a little walk later. Isn't it? Need some lunch now, though. Look at this space at the front of the pitch. I know, I know. Well, that's the two metres, isn't it? A two metre difference. <laughs> I think if we had our own van, I've lost you. Yeah, probably stopped. I think if we had our own van, there'd be another two metres in front of the pitch. It was amazing, really, what we fitted into it. Well, someone said it's like a little child. Yeah, it was a, yeah. Have a little look round, shall we? Okay. This wheel trim's rather than alloys, and like there's 15 inch wheels. Well, the um, plastic, yeah, it's colour coded handles there. We've actually yeah, painted nice the handles, yeah. yeah. That's your water point, and that's just a conventional water point. You know, I was saying earlier about uh, not having a whale pump on it. It's just a hole, basically, where you put a pipe in. Mm. There's a Truma outlet, and this is the gas locker. Yeah, it's really difficult to do that one-handed. So it's got a six kilogram gas bottle in there at the moment, but you can see there's plenty of space in there. You can put bigger bottles in there, I think. Yeah, and you've got another one at the back. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. It's got the auto cut off, isn't it, as well? Yeah, it's got the crash sensor thing there. The mono control CS. So you can drive with the heating on. So that's good. Toilet cassettes here. Draw my keys. Oh, it, was, it wasn't locked. <laughs> Try, try that again. It's got this problem with that door, isn't it? A little bit we had before on the other bailey. A toilet. A toilet. Can you hold the thing? Because it wasn't in there properly because someone hadn't put a handle down there. That's got a lock in place there. And it wasn't locked. It wasn't locked. No. No. So it probably wouldn't have worked. It's the flush water. So you put the blue stuff in there and water in there. Pink. Sorry, you put the pink stuff in there <laughs> and water. You put the blue stuff in there. No, don't you? Well, you <laughs> well, can you put, do. Can you can you? do because oh, the stuff yeah. I, the stuff I use is is uh, both. It does both. So I might use that. So you've got provision for a bike rack here. Yeah, no reversing camera on this, this van. That's the registration if you see us about. Oh, it goes that way, that pitch. Yeah. That's the step you've got with this. So it's quite a high step that. It is, isn't it? And see how we get on with it, aren't we? We'll perhaps go and get our step in. Yeah, yeah. We, might, we haven't brought our own step, but it is quite a high step. Usual sort of 
heart is it heart door? Same as ours that one. Mm. Okay. Electric point there. And the in ex external aerial input there, access to the internal locker. And your diesel and your add blue there. Right, let's put the canopy up. Another key. Time for that. Yeah. So you brought your own hose. Brought my own hose. And you. And my Heos thing. That yeah. Works on here. Do you think I'm near enough to the water? <laughs> Putting the canopy out. Yeah. So brought our own uh, Oh, yeah. thing, cause this, the uh, this is our own pole because the one that came with it is is too long to actually fit in the cupboard. Would you believe? Just so the only fits he can go in lengthwise. So brought this one because it it folds Comes up. <laughs> I'll shut the door because you can catch the door. Yeah. In the Put it out all the way. I don't think this has ever been used. No, because it's still, it's still got, got plastic, plastic on, it. on it. Yeah. Trying to get the plastic off it. Right. We'll speed this up, shall we? <laughs> That's it. Getting busy now, you know. The, the yeah, queue well, was big... back out the door, out yeah, the road. Big queue. Yeah. It's a little awning, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be, wouldn't it? Really? <laughs> yeah. today so I'm not going to bother taking any down so I don't think. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> Plastic. Ah. Now that's what someone warned me about. See that? It? Yeah. Can you film it? If I can get up up high. Oh by me. Well, that's not good. That's no, not good at all. Mm -hmm. 
tighter, put it out all the way. I didn't have it all the way out. So. Oh, it's all right no, now. now. But it's still it's touching on the, it, pushing, it? pushing against it. Yeah, put it up a bit higher. Put the legs up. That's why someone, I can't remember who it was, was saying and wanted me to film yeah. putting the canopy up. I yeah. obviously noticed there was an issue. So now it's out all the way. You can just tighten it back a bit now. That's it. Yeah. It's got a, spe a thing for a rafter there as well. No, I haven't got a rafter, but I've got one at home. No. But that thing that was in the cupboard was a leg, wasn't it? Yeah, that there was, was a leg. There was something in the cupboard. But Whether that was meant to be a rafter. Yeah, they put the wrong but bit they in put there. a leg in. Yeah. 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 Yes, we've got a rafter at home. We've got a broken thing, though, haven't we? Because yeah. we couldn't use it. Yeah, well, that bracket had broken on ours. I still need to get one for it. Right. Shall we have some lunch? Are you going to get some chairs out? Oh, yeah, I'll get some chairs out. Well, it's a good job we brought two chairs, isn't it? We could have fit another one in, could we? No, we no. only bring three, yeah. one and four, but thought we'd just take two. She wanted me out of it to begin with. She's yeah. barking her head off at yeah. me to get out. So I'll have to get her bed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those things that must have seemed a good idea at the time. This is a table which lives under this sofa here. And it's got this thing here that's presumably to stop this table from rattling. But the screw, when well, I got it out, the screws are loose and you tighten them up. And they don't tighten up. So they're not they're not actually screwing into anything. So this thing here is not doing anything at all. Probably better just use some bungee cords or something. Right, well, that's it for today. Um, right, Southport. I had a little uh, play with the uh, the Bailey, and I think we know where most things are. Um, yeah. My only slight disappointment so far is the Russell Hobbs microwave is a little bit a bit too high for you. Well, it's not so much it's high; it's because it's the back of the fridge. Yeah. It's uh, back of the fridge. Oh, well, you have to lean you, over. You have the to lean over the fridge. Oh right, okay. So, okay. but that's my <laughs> only disappointment so yeah, far. Yeah, I yeah. think the steps a little bit high as well. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm getting more used to the step. It's very yeah. solid, so yeah. that's one yeah. thing about it. Doesn't it. creak, does it? When no, you get on, I think we had them in the past where well, they creaked. Particularly the double steps. Yeah, yeah. And so not very reassuring. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that's it. We we noticed that posh cats are here. Yeah, saw on them site. arriving. And they've yeah. gone to see Phil and Juliet last uh, weekend. Last weekend, yeah. So, and uh, so they're having a little meet up. So we might catch up with them a little bit later. Yeah. He said, after, well, later in the afternoon, I think. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully that'd be good. And uh, we might bring you a bit of that footage later. Yeah. Uh, they might, they've got a chance to have a look around the, the van as well, haven't they? Yeah, see what they think of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, well, I think the weather's turned a little bit now. It's hasn't gone it? a little bit, bit cloudy cooler. and it, it's cooler. When well, you start to shiver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're yeah. not quite that bad, but yeah. it has gone cooler. Yeah, but anyway, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. The, yeah. um, the little bay feels like a little um, go kart compared to yeah. ours. Yeah. I, I, it's fun and games revert. Well, I didn't, I didn't have trouble reversing, but uh, it did seem like I could go back an awful long way. Yeah, where it normally <laughs> counts. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, there's about 20 feet in front of us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's good. So anyway, this uh, is the first of the video. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure quite what we're going to do, but... Uh, I think we've got to go shopping, haven't we? We've got to do a bit of shopping. shopping, so... Yeah. And take so it through Southport, exciting. I suppose, take it through the town. Yeah. And I want to take it down the beach. You want to take it down the beach, yeah. 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 That'd be okay. different, wouldn't it? It would be different, yeah. Yeah. So once again, thanks to Bailey for lending us this motorhome. Yeah. We're not being paid or influenced Influence. in any way by Bailey for nope. making this uh, nope. this video. And uh, they basically said be as honest as we can, yeah. which we're going to be. Yeah. And I uh, hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Yeah. So give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and leave any comments below. I'm always happy to see comments, yep. positive or constructive. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye okay. then. Bye then.